Hey, what's going on guys? It's TV and our frags. Okay, Preston here and welcome back to the random nuclear class generator series in Black Ops 2. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering like, what is going on Preston? You have not done one of these in, I think it's been like around four or five months, maybe even longer. It's been super, super long. But for those of you guys who don't know what the series is, it's uh, me going around using a random uh, like class generator website you guys can find the link down below in the description if you guys want to use it and then me going on team deathmatch and trying to get a nuclear with this class setup you know, whatever the class setup it gives me right so I like this used to be a really big series on my channel back like the early launch to the mid launch of black ops two days and you guys seem to love it so very much that I decided last night it was like five in the morning I couldn't sleep I had those uh, I don't know what to call it man I just I had like the itgy bidgies right like I just I couldn't sleep it was five in the morning I got up did like my dishes did my laundry I was basically being a really good housewife and uh, then I decided to hop on some black ops 2 when my clothes were washing and, and I was like alright you know what let's, let's try to do one of these I haven't done one of these in forever so if this series gets a whole lot of support like, like a whole bunch of likes and comments I'll definitely consider bringing it back on you know a more regular basis you know more than once a week more than likely because I know you guys still really do enjoy the uh, black ops 2 gameplay and you guys seem to really enjoy this series as well so uh, but anyways I love this class setup because oh yeah and then I guess I should explain a couple more rules so in this series you know I got to use the class that's generated on the website that it gives me and then also I always change out whatever the second perk is to uh, to scavenger because obviously you know without scavenger I'd have to pick up other weapons that weren't related to the class which would be kind of cheating right so I don't want to do that I have no idea how I survived that there were like two guys running 870s both coming at me like Jackie Chan and freaking I don't know who else like J another Asian man it was crazy they're, they're, these 870 guys were hunting my booty the whole game I was trying like so hard not to die and the really big issue was, is that these guys all had EMP grenades, right? So in this series, I love to run like UAV, counter UAV, and VSAT so I can see stuff. And right here is a perfect example. I just call in my VSAT, and I get EMP'd, and I'm just stuck. Like, I can't do anything. But I think, luckily, I called in my counter UAV, and I knew there was like a whole bunch of guys swarming in this blue building, right? So I, I like, just let them all push out, and then try to pick them off afterwards. But it's so nerve-wracking, because if they have an 8... I thought right here, man, for sure I was going to die. I got prone blocked for a split second. But if they've got an 870, I mean, luck is just on their side. God has blessed them. It's just ridiculous. But uh, I did really enjoy this class just because the fact that the Vector is like my favorite SMG and then I get Target Finder on it, right? And the Target Finder is such like a derpy, goofy uh, site and it's so much fun to play with. Like, believe it or not, I think I've gotten a bunch of the SMG nuclears on my channel. I've gotten them with the, the, the Target Finder side just because they're like super goofy, right? Not because it's like, you know, really difficult to use or really overpowered, but it's just goofy and it's just kind of fun to use. Like, when people use them on LMGs, it's really frustrating. Like, that is incredibly frustrating, and nobody likes to be that guy, or nobody likes playing against that guy who sits in the back, you know, of the corner of the map with a freaking... LMG with a target finder. Nobody likes that guy. But some, I, I think people are generally okay and can accept the fact that if a man is running around with an SMG rushing corners and just rushing everywhere and he's got a target finder on without uh, without quick draw, then it's, it's pretty acceptable. I think it's generally acceptable. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You guys gotta let me know down below in the comments. But I think it's, it's pretty cool. And then also I got the 5-7 akimbos, which the 5-7 akimbos are actually a lot of fun. A lot of people seem to think they're like, you know, either really underpowered or overpowered, which is, is bizarre in my opinion. And the only akimbo in this game that's really overpowered, I would say, is probably the cap 40s. But, you know, hoi hoi hoi, cap 40s are just like ridiculously overpowered, you know. As always, like th there, there's no fixing the cap 40s in this game, man. That's why they were banned from competitive play because they're just ridiculous. But uh, the 570s just have a lot of luck in them. But I, I, that's what I just loved about this gameplay is that the EMP grenades threw me off so much because EMP grenades. I don't think people realized it. But when you take away my minimap, that takes away like 50% of my luck at getting a nuclear. Because I watch the minimap religiously. Like I am seriously like a Mormon when it comes to the minimap. I watch that thing nonstop. Like it's a golden tablet. I just I don't take my eyes off it. I continue to watch it. And uh, and then once you take that away from me, I just I freak out because I don't know if they're gonna be behind me. Like that that's why I love the minimap so much is because I'm always watching the spawns. And that's one thing that I think you know makes me a little bit better than the average Call of Duty player. I'm not saying that I'm good. Uh, at Call of Duty or anything like that, but what I think can put me above, uh, you know, the average COD player is that I watch the minimap so much. That way I always know where the spawns are at or, you know, where my teammates are at. And judging off where my teammates are at, I can, like, safely assume, be like, oh, okay, you know what? If my teammate's in this area, then there's probably a good chance that the enemy's not there. Um, but then if I'm like, whoa, you know, I've got no teammates near me, I'm alone. 
no red dots on the minimap. They're probably really close to me. I should play very, very cautiously. So you can always use your teammates on the minimap, even if everybody on the entire enemy team is running ghost. I mean, most of the time, they're not all going to run ghosts. Probably about half of them will run ghosts, right? And the other half might have silencers. So, I mean, but let's just say, for example, the entire six people on the enemy team were running ghosts and running silencers. I mean, like, let's say they're running 870 silencers and ghosts, and you're playing on, like, nuke counter slums. So you're pretty much screwed, right? Well, you know, yeah, yeah, kind of. Like, there's really nothing you can do, especially if they're using C4. My God, if they're using C4, you know, bless your little heart. God bless you. But if they're not, let's just say they're using Salinate 70s and ghosts. Just looking at where your teammates are on the minimap, you can kind of just gauge where the enemy are going to be or where they currently are at. So that's what I love so much about the minimap. But look at these guys. Every time I get a V sat up, man, and then boom, pop off the nuclear just in the nick of time. I was, I was sweating, man. I think I finished this game like 34 and 1. And, and these 870 guys, look at this guy. He's like, all oh, my booty just chasing me. He's freaking me out. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay in Black Ops 2. If you want to see the random nuclear class series, come back. Leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful and safe day. And goodbye, everybody.